Let's go. It is April the 30th, 2018. All right. So last day of the month and my birthday is on May the 7th. I have kind of like a list of things. I don't really do like New Year's resolutions, but I do um, every so often I set goals. And, and this time was the first time I really set like a deadline goal. And so I have like basically seven things that I want to accomplish by May the 7th. And one of those things has to do with weight. And I kind of thought I would hit on this and just kind of talk about it specifically regarding smoking or quitting smoking. I know I'm not the only one out there that has concerns when they've quit or want to quit smoking about gaining weight or the possibility of gaining weight. Um, the reason why I know this is because the first time I quit smoking, which it's been quite some time, I gained I'm gonna say I'm gonna be honest with you. I probably gained about 20 pounds and this was over like a six-month stretch to a year and uh, And and man, I, I was that was one of the things that made me so frustrated and uh, You know, I don't know if it was just you know not smoking the food tasted better people said that or just not smoking so I just started eating more and you know, whatever but it was definitely a correlation there between quitting smoking and gaining weight. So I kind of wanted to just make a video and talk about what I did this time because I did not want that to be a reason as to why I went back smoking. And I know that sounds horrible. I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous. Like, okay, so you're going to go back and start smoking again just because you're gaining a few pounds. Well, I'm not the most vain person in the world, but I've worked pretty hard to get my weight down. I was, you know, I was about 220 at one point at my heaviest point and I was very frustrated. I did not like that at all. I was not confident in myself. You know, if somebody said anything to me or, you know, made a comment, I was pretty self-conscious about it. And I know that's not like the man's man type mentality to have, you know, um, you know, men, you're not supposed to care or whatever. Well, you know, I'm sorry, but I kind of do. And you know, that's me. So I started, uh, I just got to park. I had to go to Walmart real quick. Um, but for me, it was something, like I said, that it was important that I, once I quit this time, when I knew that I was going to quit, that I figured out some type of plan of attack on how I was going to combat this, how I was going to make sure that this time I did not gain serious amount of weight. So I started looking into different things and I knew that it had to be something that I could maintain long term. Intermittent fasting is something I've talked about before on this channel and I'm a big believer in intermittent fasting for several reasons, but for one, it just works for me. I'm never, I've never been a breakfast person. I've never been somebody who likes to eat breakfast. Um, so it was like, all right, well, that kind of eliminates that. So. If I can eliminate just drinking things, because really it was either energy drinks, which I no longer drink, or Diet Coke, which was my other go-to in the morning. If I can eliminate those two things and just stick to black coffee, which most people will say is disgusting, with no cream, no sugar, because that's going to break your fast. If I can do that and just extend it out, then it really seems like that would be the best option for me. So I started doing a little bit more research on it. I started watching guys on YouTube and, and girls that talk about intermittent fasting and some of the benefits. And I thought, you know what, let me give it a shot. And I've really been kind of doing it pretty consistently now since I quit smoking. Throughout that time, I'm not gonna lie, I've eaten really horrible. I, I've not eaten very healthy. My calorie intake is through the roof, carbohydrates through the roof. And in that entire time, in that eight month process, it's been over eight months, I'm really only up a few pounds. I was at 165 and now I'm averaging 170. So like today I woke up at 168, some days I'm 170, some days I'm 172, but I'm, I'm always hovering right around 170. So I'll just say 170 is my average and I'll just go ahead and label that as a five pound increase over eight months. I can deal with that. Now. I want to get to 160 that's really where I want to be so I'm kind of trying to work on now you know kind of implementing a more healthy lifestyle as far as the way that I'm eating and what I'm eating and not kind of just overloading on calories because that is one issue that I do have I'll get really hungry and then I'll just kind of almost binge and I'll start eating way more than I really want to but even 
even at that, for me to be right where I'm at, weight wise, I, I'm I'm really I'm not complaining. I'm I'm pretty comfortable with where I'm at. I just want to drop a little bit down. Like I said, I want to trim up, and then I want to tone up. You know, just preparing for summertime. You know, take the kids to the pool. You know, I don't want to look like a bum out there. And um, so it's just something that I wanted to talk about because, you know, I think that a lot of people when they when they go to quit smoking that's what happens a lot of times and it's not everyone i'm sure there are plenty of people out there that just care less you know it's whatever but for me weight gain was a big concern so i think for you whatever it is whether it's intermittent fasting or it's not if you have a plan of attack if you've got something that you can commit to along with the quitting smoking then i think that's going to help you in the long run to continue to not smoke because for me anyways, like I said, it could be just completely vain of me and just sound really bad, but I really felt like if I was able to maintain my weight, then that that would be one less thing. It would be one less excuse for me to be like, oh, I'm just going to start smoking again because I'm gaining too much weight or I just, I feel so bloated. Fun fact, it's another reason why I love intermittent fasting. I really don't feel bloated. My energy level, I mean, I'm not completely energetic all the time. But right now, I'm on a pretty extended fast right now. And I'm feeling very energetic right now. Now, I did eat today. Um, I broke my fast at just about 16 and a half hours. I like to go 16 hours, and then I have an eight hour window. But at 16 and a half hours, I broke my fast, and I'm on low carbs this week, and I'm still very energetic. And I, I'm telling you, I totally love it it doesn't really necessarily feel like i'm starving myself all the time um i do get hungry i'm not gonna lie about that but um but i just feel like this has been something good for me and even if it's not necessarily what you want to do if if intermittent fasting is not what you want to do then having a plan having something you know that that you're going to be able to set in stone and say all right you know what this is what i'm going to do to combat my weight because there are going to be people out there that are going to say, oh, just eat a lollipop every five minutes. You know, well, if you're concerned about your weight, the last thing you really want to do is continually spike your insulin level all day long by eating lollipops all day. Um, so, and if you want to know more about intermittent fasting, trust me, just YouTube it, look it up. There are so many other people on here that are way more knowledgeable when it comes to that than I am. But uh, for me, I... It, it's worked you know what I mean it's worked for me so anyways I just figured you know what I make a quick video I will check in probably I would say by the 7th by next Monday I'll check back in and uh, we'll see what I'm able to accomplish over a week uh, and see if I can drop down to, to 160 so I'm at 168 this morning this Monday we'll see what I can do with intermittent fasting and low carb combined which is like almost like going into like hyper speed as far as losing weight some of that's going to be just weight fluctuation, so I have to understand that as well, but it is what it is. So I'm going to keep grinding. I'm going to keep moving forward. I always trust the process, but if you want to quit smoking, like make sure you prepare yourself for all those things. At my year mark, I will make like a complete like challenge video, all the things I was challenged with, and uh, go into that. But for now, I just kind of wanted to talk about weight and uh, not smoking. All right, talk to you all later. I'm out.